that is just the most amazing thing going under the center arch of Tower Bridge in London. Oh my God, I didn't like that. <laughs> this man's a hero. You're a nightmare. We've spoken to the lock keeper. We've turned the boat around. We're just about ready to go. We're just waiting for the tide that's incoming now to get to a certain level. And then we're going back, but this time, we're going from Limehouse to Brentford rather than all the way to Teddington Whoa. because we want to get off at the Grand Union Canal and go back up the Grand Union Canal heading back north. If you're going to do this, <laughs> do your research. First of all, you've got to book the lock. So you've got to book yes. a Brentford, which we booked in for about quarter to six this evening. We booked out of Limehouse Lock at quarter past three, but that could be sort of 10 minutes earlier. Yeah. So we're all ready to go. There's a boat coming down with us, but he's going the other way. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go again. Exciting. <laughs> Here we go again. There's a line of 24 hour visitor moorings along the southeast wall of Limehouse Marina. You can get about half a dozen boats on there, and there's a pontoon for disabled access. And the Docklands Light Railway, or DLR, is only a five minute walk away from the marina, and you can be in central London within about 10 minutes. From the basin here, you could go up the Regent's Canal towards the Paddington Arm, or the other way, you can go up the Lee Navigation via the Limehouse Cut. Today though, we're heading back out of Limehouse Lock onto the Tidal River Thames, and we're gonna ride the flood tide through central London to Thames Lock at Brentford. We got a bit of a shock when we came up the lock earlier because there's no sluices in the gates that let water in or out of the lock. The lock keeper literally has to open the lock gates a little bit and water rushes in through the sides at the bottom and through the gap in the middle. Now this time we're going down the lock, so once both the boats are secured, the lock keeper is going to open the bottom gates just a few inches and the water will just start rushing out into the river. Now we've got our ropes around the steel risers in the lock and I'll tell you what, after last time, we're holding on for dear life. Whereas it would normally take, what, five minutes to empty a lot like that? It took like a minute, well it felt like a minute, yeah. or maybe even a bit less. But you see the lock gates open and the water just starts pouring out and of course the boat gets pulled forward. So we're holding on at each end, trying to keep the boat from pulling forward. But we're back out on the Thames, and you can see this monster that's creeping up behind us. We're gonna Hold start that. getting a bit splashy. Hold on for your life. There's definitely a lot more traffic out on the river this afternoon. We only passed three boats when we came down from Teddington this morning, but we've already passed three just in this first mile since leaving Limehouse. And some of them cause more wash than others, but the waves can be over a metre high sometimes. It's a good job we've got the bow doors shut. It's just as awesome the second time around than it was the first time. Just wow. Absolutely wow, isn't it? <laughs> it is boiling, it's about 34 degrees. 
and there's no breeze. The breeze is behind us, pushing us along. So we're not feeling the breeze. And this is HMS Belfast. When we're travelling upstream, the bridge arches are numbered from 5 to 1, going left to right, and we stick to the arches with the two orange lights for navigation. But if an arch is closed, for whatever reason, you might get a message on your VHF radio from London VTS, and they'll give you the number of the arch that's closed. For example, you'll get a message saying, at Southwark Bridge, arch 3 is closed to navigation. With all this traffic on the river this afternoon, I really hope they don't have to close any of the arches while we're crawling through them. This is a lot more choppy because we've passed about twice as many boats in the first couple of miles as we did in the whole journey coming down. And it's so hot, it's about 34, 35 degrees, hence we've got the brolly up. The sun is really burning down on us. But wow, it's awesome. The water <laughs> is coming, literally coming over the bow. You don't know this. <laughs> I don't know it. It's come over the bow, it's dislodged the GoPro. Really? But it's all right, it's still there. And it's come into the well deck and into the bedroom a little bit. Waterloo Bridge is next, and then we're coming up towards the London Eye and Westminster Bridge. Woohoo! Houses of Parliament back on our starboard side. If you looked closely, you can see the armed policemen up and down, keeping guard. Uh, as a boat, you've got to keep at least 70 meters away from the building. Otherwise, you get shot. <laughs> Eighty-five Albert Embankment is the home of the UK's secret intelligence services, MI6. It's been attacked a few times in real life. An anti-tank rocket was fired at it back in 2000. And then in 2010, a parcel bomb was found in the mailroom. Check out Skyfall, one of the James Bond movies, where it does get blown up. Poor old Judy Dench is having a right issy fit on Vauxhall Bridge. It does get a lot quieter after you get past Westminster. Uh, Bat well, the old Battersea Power Station's on our port side now, and we're just about to go under a bridge. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. I've forgotten. It's because I'm dripping, and not because I've seen another garden railway. I'm actually like soaking wet. <laughs> so hot.
if you want to go on the tidal Thames and your boat's over 45 foot long, you have to carry a VHF radio. Now the radio itself has to be licensed with Ofcom and you'll need to get a short range certificate which you can do by taking a short course at an approved training centre. I did mine a few weeks ago at Willow Wren in Warwickshire. If you don't want to do the course you can still do the Tidal Thames but you'll need to have somebody on board who's got a licensed radio and has got the qualification to use it. Just don't ask me though, like Sean said in the last episode. You're a nightmare. Just came under Battersea Bridge and saw two great big lummoxed barges. Lummox! Pulling, I don't know how many, were about 100 containers in each one or 12. <laughs> Maybe 20. <laughs> and they're turning around in the river and Sean's just like full on 10,000 revs and in straight towards him. I'm like, Sean! It's like having, it's like having Mrs. Bouquet. It is not on like, the boat. no, I am the sense of reason and, and panic. You're the sense of panic. I'm the sense of panic. But well, there's nothing wrong with a sense of panic, is there? I don't think so. It's like a, a sense of self-preservation. I just don't want to die. Not today, anyway. <laughs> Just before Wandsworth Bridge, uh, we've done eight miles, and we've got eight miles until we come off at Brentford. I'm ready now to leave the Thames, are you? Oh God, yes. <laughs> How long have we been on here? Four years? We arrived on the Thames, I think, on the, was it the 6th of June? It was the beginning of June. I can't remember. And where is it now? About November. <laughs> September, innit? So, yeah, we've been on the Thames quite a while. And, and it's not been pleasant, all of it. It's had its ups and downs, mostly downs. But eight miles, and then we're off the thing. Yay, back on the canals. just heard another narrowboat which we think is the boat that came out of the lock with us because he was having problems with his engine before he got on the river and he was going downstream and he was going downstream against the current and we just heard that a narrowboat's in trouble and is having to be rescued which is I'm not laughing at it I'm not thinking it's funny it's just yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of it's that like nervous it's, it's a nervous laugh yeah it? it's that nervous British laugh of uh, I hope they're all right yeah but uh, not nice Uh, that is Putney Bridge in the background, which is where the university boat race starts, which I hope is not today. <laughs> we ain't got any rowers stuck on the front of the boat screaming, have we? Help! <laughs> you might have noticed as we come under the bridge, the two orange lights, and you get different lights and different things on the bridge to tell you which of the arches to go through, which part of the channel to stay in. So two of those orange lights means that you should go through that channel. And if there's, say there's five arches and two of them have got the orange lights, you always usually stick to the starboard side. Yeah. I am right, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, you will correct me if I'm wrong. 
And there's all sorts of different ones. If you get uh, three red ones, it means don't go, like a triangle in red lights. And there's also like a single white light. Or if they've run out of white light bulbs, a bale of straw. Uh, How random is that? Crazy. How many bales of straw have we got in boat if we need it? Uh, about four. And that means that there's reduced head height. So if you've got quite a an upwards bow, what's the word I'm looking for? High, high head, Tall. Bit, high draft. I don't know. High draft, door draft, draft excluder. I don't know. <laughs> it gets more random every week. A single white light or a bale of straw means that the head height's reduced. So if the tide's coming in and it's a high tide, you might lose your roof of your boat. The last bridge, and it's Kew Bridge. The turning for Brentford is about half a mile away on our starboard side. Oh, I'm ready for a drink and I <laughs> sit down. Are you? Oh, I might buy a beer. It's just so hot. And that's it. Ha <laughs> ha, done it. Teddington to Limehouse and straight back from Limehouse to Brentford. I don't think any has anybody on YouTube ever done that before. I don't think so, but I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> We're just coming up to Thames Lock at Brentford and that will take us off the River Thames and onto the Grand Union Canal. We're back on the canal. First time. We've been on a canal since the beginning of June. 20 out, 2008. It's, <laughs> it's just going to be so weird being back on narrow canals and, and narrow locks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for a rest now, are you? Yes. Uh, we've got to get through Thames Lock and then through the Gaging Lock, a few hundred yards further up. And then there's some, hopefully, fingers crossed, some spare visitor moorings and some services. And a beer. And a beer. I might have a beer tonight. <laughs> I'm shattered. Are you I'm shattered? Fine. William Shatnered. <laughs> We've been sat here for three days eating bacon butties and trying to recuperate. Yes. Get his energy levels back up. We were absolutely, I can't say knackered, can I? We were absolutely knackered <laughs> when we got off that river. 40 miles we did yes. on that trip. 21 miles from Teddington down to Limehouse and then another 18 miles from Limehouse to Brentford and then about a mile or so from the junction at Brentford up to the basin, which is where we moored overnight. I say moored. We kind of threw his rope over something, didn't we? I think it was a dog. And collapsed. Is <laughs> that what that noise were overnight? <laughs> uh, we did have a very restful night in Brentford. Some very nice boat was made room for us. Yes. We actually ended up on the service point. Yeah, but, but it was late. It was quite late and all the other boaters were okay. There was nowhere else to go. And then the next day we made his way a little bit further up, found yeah. somewhere and we've been there for a couple of days. Yeah. <sighs> it actually weren't as bad as I expected it to be. At my fear level was about eight out of 10, but it was in reality, it was about four or a five. I was more scared about coming into Limehouse because when you read on the forums and advice from the Port London Authority and Canal and River Trust and people who've done it, it's that it's coming into Limehouse on that fast ebb tide that's the dangerous bit. And yeah, I mean, it does twist your boat about a bit. It really does. The boat was kind of going like that and as, I mean, we didn't hit the wall. We, were, we came very close to the wall very quickly, but, I mean, Sean, man, you managed to, to get it out. And that's why I said that you're a hero. And what did you say in return? You're a nightmare. 
<laughs> yes, I did. It's all the chelping he does. They didn't see any of that. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> they see me smiling and talking to camera and you struggling to keep the boat under control. They never see me crying, <laughs> hanging onto the side, <laughs> clutching me teddy. <laughs> It is a. It was a brilliant experience, and I actually would do it again. Probably yeah. not in this boat because we've done it. But yes, I have the uh, the the license and this uh, the thing for the VHF radio. Yeah. So if ever you want a pilot, if ever you well not a lot of pilot, but like the radio man, radio man, sound like a radio man. Phew, bye. Yeah, don't ring me. Uh, <laughs> so we're now on the Grand Union, <sighs> heading north. Well, there's only one way it can go, really. Yeah. Um, we're not going to film for about a week because we, we do need to rest and it's taken yeah. a while to edit these last two videos. So we're taking a few days off. When you join us next time, we're going to be... We don't know. <laughs> a little bit further, not too far north. We're only taking about a week off filming, but yeah. we'll be back next Friday as normal, just in a different place. Yeah. What I am going to do is I'm putting two unlisted videos on our YouTube channel, which you can access from links in the video description below and the description of the first Thames video from last week. And they are... Duh, duh, duh. I'm playing this up and it's nothing duh, really. Duh, duh. <laughs> it's a real, real time. It's a real time trip. So there's no music, no talking, just one camera angle. It's the front camera, and we're going to put two videos up: a real time, tr real time trips from Teddington down to Limehouse, and then another one from Limehouse up to Brentford. So if you're planning on doing this, uh, it's going to be a good resource because you know what you're expecting, aren't you? So there's going to be videos you're putting up that I don't have to caption. Yes. Result. <laughs> <laughs> cheered him up on it uh, if you've enjoyed these videos and we really hope you have and you're not already please subscribe to our channel it means so much to us just that warm feeling I get every time somebody presses subscribe I do it sends a shiver up me gusset it does it's like Ooh. Uh, so yeah so subscribe to the channel if you're not already please 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 give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and hit the notifications bell at YouTube I'll let you know every time we release a brand new episode even better if you want it, you could be doing this. You, if you want to support the channel, you can press the, the join button, which is on the home page or any of our video pages on YouTube. Or you can click the Patreon link, which this week is... Above Colin's head. I've always wanted to do that. I've always <laughs> wanted to do that. Take care of yourselves. More bacon sandwiches for us. And we'll see you next time. And Otis is back next week. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Ta-da. Blah 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 blah. You can't say that. Something going on that I just missed because I was talking to camera. We're off the. Where are blah 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 blah. You need to get Sean a better brolly. I think like a pepper pig one. Bum fluff. Oh, Scotchio. Do you remember that? From Fashio. Scotchio. Yes. Now I understand why certain other narrowboat YouTubers wear makeup because of shine. I am very shiny because it's 35 degrees. Actually, it could be 21. They'll believe anything, won't they? Yeah, they will. Let me have a wipe. Blah, 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 blah. And cut. Mm -hmm.